Yo, y'all, what's going on, man? It's Jay again. Just coming at y'all, man. Long day of work. I'm not working for myself, so it's a lot of things I don't worry about. But at the end of the day, I just had a conversation about the um, thing I posted yesterday with Kanika Jiggins and the Las Vegas. People are like, well, what the Las Vegas thing got to do with um, Kanika Jiggins? Okay, I'm going to explain to you what it has to do with it and why it's so significant in this it and why it happened. So <laughs> they gave us an edited video of this young lady walking through and then they came back late and told y'all it was um it was edited and we just wanted to reenact the video to show y'all the steps that the lady took and which is all bullshit. How you gonna reenact somebody not losing their life man? Can't reenact that. Just can't. You got it or you don't. Simple as that. There's no reenactment on that. So, they gave that to us. People started search, kept looking, trying to find out this shit ain't right, man. A lot of people were saying this shit is something that's not right. Something ain't right, Jay. Something ain't right. That's not right. They doing this, they doing. Okay, keep searching, keep searching. So, now, they just come out with a um they come out with the the real video. I still it's still edited, but they got a bunch of different things that you can start seeing people now and all this, right? So as soon as that comes out, the dude um in Las Vegas, random shooting, killed fifty to sixty people, white people, he knock them off. This dude ain't never had no, no signs of anything. Dude, 64, getting some money, he liked to gamble, whatever, whatever. Cracker had no signs of anything like that. And once we realized that, why he ain't had no signs of it, because he, he didn't really do it. They say they. They say they. Oh, we killed him. He wasn't going to live. He wasn't going to live to tell the story because it was no fucking story, bro. I bet they ain't got no camera. Okay, since so we're going to say this. Now, this the the um, Mandalay Bait. Big time hotel in Las Vegas. Accidentally to show you a video of this dude coming in with certain bags, look like it could be rifles in it, this and that and that. Ask him to show you the video of that. You're not gonna get the video of that. You gotta be a real marksman that shoot people from a distance, man. When people understand you can't shoot nobody. This niggas miss you. It's people that shoot you, be 10 feet away from you and miss. You telling me you 30? You 30 some stories high, and you hit this many people and this many people. And you, ain't, you ain't got no, man, you got, that's a marksman ship, man. Once you realize that's a marksman, one, one, or this one, it's a marksman, man. And that's why whenever, whoever, the person they say that did it, you never be able to talk to them. Because they going to kill them. They was already dead before it even happened, bro. You got to know this. They was already dead before that shit happened. We're going to stage it on y'all because the government is in control of everything, man. The government is in control of everything, bro. The closest y'all got to solving that girl case, they say, oh, hell no. Nah. We got to make something else happen because they're going to figure this out. And once they figure out we selling organs, once they figure out that black people more, <laughs> that is worth more dead than alive to us, then they're going to figure it out, oh, hell, now they're going to start killing each other. They're going to start loving each other. So now we can't let them see that. That's what God did for us. Jesus, the, they don't want us to, to, to show unity, so they're going to keep us divided and, start, and just keep doing shit that don't make sense. They're going to do something to the black people, then they're going to do something back to the white people. So they're going to look equal to us, but it's somebody that's running everything, man. Somebody controlling everything that's going on, man. Then y'all might not listen. You might not even got to this far in this video. I'm just going to tell you how I feel, man. And, the, and when I know how the good the Lord is, man. This shit is all bad, man. And Jesus is on the way back, man. He's on the way back, man. There's just no way, man. Once, I, once again, when them black people got killed in tech, I mean, in, um, when Philando Castro got killed and... 
The other one got killed. <laughs> the dude with the CDs, he got killed. Black people protesting. We ready to go to war with the white man now. Fuck it. Y'all killing us, we're going to kill y'all. They say, okay, well, we don't want that on our hands. Fuck that. We don't want that. So we're going to um, shoot a few cops. I'm going to do a few things, and I guarantee you that same person who they say who did it, he never seen them. They showed you a picture of them, say it was terrorist attacks and all. Man, that shit is all bullshit, bro. Terrorist attacks and all that, man. All that shit is planned, bro. It's, it, you got to understand, the world is ran by somebody. So whoever controls it of the world, so they say, because Jesus run everything. That's why you can't stop a hurricane. Give a damn what they say. You can't stop a hurricane. You can't stop a tornado. You can't stop a natural disaster because that's, that's the Lord's will. See what I'm saying? But all I'm going to tell you, man, is we got to pay attention, bro. So when now this happening, when 50, 50, um, 50 to 60 people got killed at a crunchy festival, which is the majority white, imagine what's going to happen next. Something else is going to happen to the black people now. Because this is uncalled for. This is unjust. because the white man killed all these people. You know damn well that white man ain't killed them damn people, man. That car could gamble and he drunk and smoked cigarettes. I don't even know if he was drinking or smoked cigarettes. Let's look at his picture. Tell me he don't look like he drank and smoked cigarettes. He drunk. How the hell are you going to shoot out a window and keep reloading 9 to 10 to 15? Man, come on, man. But we just pay attention to this shit, man. I just want us, as people, man, to pay attention, bro. Just pay attention, bro. It still don't give um on that girl, on that little woman, man. That little girl, Kanika Jenkins. I got four daughters and a possible on the way, but I know this is going to be my son. So I got a heart, I feel, for that kind of shit, man. I want my daughter to leave here and go somewhere and never come back. And then I can't get no answers for it. <laughs> Them people better than me because I would have tied everybody up that was on shift that day, one by one. But, I mean, we ain't going to talk about that. You know what I mean? That's just out of my hand. <laughs> the organ trade and all that shit, that shit is real, man. That shit is real. You got to think about it. When you go get your ID, they ask you, uh, are you, you want to be an organ donor or not? You say, yeah, or you say, no, whatever. Your organs, nine times out of ten, if you smoke, drunk, all that, your organs is no good to them people. How can you have a transplant without somebody trans without somebody transplanting it out of somebody else to give it to you? How can you get an organ without having a? How can you get an organ in a person that's living without taking it? Why they did. So how you gonna kill them? I don't know how you kill them. But they gonna get it off them. So this other person is more important than the next person. It's all about money. If you got enough money, you can get a lot of things to happen. If you ain't got no money, you go break your leg. They gonna send you a bill. You got some money, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't, they ain't gonna see no bill because it's gonna be took care of. And we're gonna get you quicker. We all know how this shit go, man. I might be just running my mouth, whatever, whatever. But I mean, I'm just telling you how my heart feels. Got to do a listen, man. All them dudes down in Texas, they came back and shot them police. If you look at how it gives one thing, then they take something else, man. Then they don't want us to, to stay on one thing. Nah, we give them too much of that. They ain't going to figure it out. We got to do something else so they get their whole mind off that shit, man. Got to think, man. This is Jay, man. I'm signing off. Nobody got to subscribe. You ain't got to like. Just listen. I just want you to listen. That's the number one thing. Fuck a subscription or any of that. That don't mean nothing to me. I just want to be able to know I touch 100, 200, 300, 400 people. So the more I touch, the more I can express what, what's really going on. I just want to touch it. That's it, man. God bless you. Have a good night.